I remember in high school thinking that George was the only family I needed. When my parents split up, I was eight. My dad packed up his car and gave me some stupid speech about duty, honor, and country. That even though he didn't want to leave, he had to. I mean, I'm eight years old and my dad is driving away and out of my life. I'm just thinking, you're my dad. Why the hell aren't you here for me? Duty. I look at these guys and I see them as my family. My brothers. They're the only family I got left. All I'm saying is, logistically, Superman would break Batman in half. Are you calling the Batarang a sissy toy? Yeah, with a name like Batarang, why would anyone think Batman's a sissy? Well, Superman doesn't even have a cool identity. He just puts on glasses and acts like a jackass. And it's a wonder you don't like him, Leggett. I happen to like superheroes that have a brain. Leggett? He can melt things with his eyes. His eyes! Knock it off! There's enough bullshit to fill a swimming pool around here. Why would you fill- Don't! All right, boy wonder, we gotta get moving. Listen, Baker, I need this town clear. The whole 101st is moving in tomorrow, and we want to make sure things are nice and cozy for them when they get here. All right, Baker, make it happen. Everybody get down! Wilco! Red! Get up the fire! Unload on him! Baker, 
Leggett got word from upstairs that a tank is moving into this area. Their ammo resupply is right on the other side of this building. So find anything you can to make sure that tank doesn't get into town. There's a lot of movement still in the area. So we'll stay here and cover your ass. Go! Get to that cover!
Get around them! If I gave anyone else the order to attack a tank on foot, they'd probably just tell me to go to hell. You one tough son of a bitch. And you didn't want to be squad leader. 